I got lucky. They only make it for a 66 Chevelle, 66, 67 Chevelle. They don't make it for the GTO. There's a couple of dimensions that are critical, and the, the biggest one is a dimension from where the window shelf is, where the trunk seal edge is down here. This is what came off of the new panel, and there's the old panel. Hey guys, welcome back. I think I've got this uh, rear deck package tray, the steel package tray figured out. I've got it mocked in position with some screws. Kind of tell you what I did, so you guys that are going to run into this problem with the GTO platform, as I had mentioned, the, the main panel here, this black panel, it's hard to see my line down there because the rods are in the way, but I seamed it down here, and I got lucky. As I mentioned, they only make it for a 66 Chevelle, 66, 67 Chevelle. They don't make it for the GTO. And we were fortunate in that the lower portion of the panel down here wasn't rotted away. It was rotted out all through this edge, which is where the window sits, which is where they normally rot out. So if you're lucky enough and you don't have too much rot, you can get away with doing the repair like this. If you've got more rot, you're going to have to think about it and probably do a little more work. So this worked out for the better for the customer because it won't be as expensive. I'm going to grab the camera here in a minute and kind of show you what I did, but there's a couple of dimensions that are critical and the, the biggest one is a dimension from where the window shelf is to where the trunk seal edge is down here. And that has to be maintained and I've got some marks here and there and we got lucky. You can see these cutout pockets, these relief pockets here just for stamping, this actually for strength and whatnot. They match the original. So I was able to use this area and line up the new stamping holes with the old stamping holes. And I'm gonna end up doing a lap joint down here. And then I'll just go ahead and plug weld all the way down and it'll be just as good as new. Um, this distance fortunately for us was the same. The five inches that's different between the Chevelle and the GTO all takes place on this lower panel down here. So I'm gonna grab the camera here. I'm gonna show you real quick what I did. I'm just gonna prop this back down again and lay it flat so it doesn't fall over. But we'll grab the camera here real quick and I'll show you what I did. You can see, these are the reliefs I was talking about. There, there's a bunch of them. And I made a notation, you can see right here, it's upside down, but it says nine inches to center line. And that's what the factory one was. This would be the shelf of the rear window to the center of this hole on the original panel. This, this measurement is from the original panel. So I made sure I was able to duplicate that and I have. We're all good there. You can see what I'm saying. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a lap weld with plug welds all the way down. Uh, you can see the difference here as well. I hammered this down. This was originally 90 degrees standing up on end and that was to be for the uh, the trunk support here, actually for the hinge support. So we hammered that down. This will all get welded. It's going to be as good as new. I can get on to doing the rest of the panels. On the floor here, this is what came off of the new panel. As you can see there, there's not much left of the new panel. And there's the old panel. And even though they're not the same position, you can see the difference in size. That's the five inches that's different. So little FYI, you guys doing GTOs, you're going to run into this problem. The Chevelle is the only panel available. You can make it work. And if you get lucky like we did here, you can see this is going to go together real nice. The original steel back there, that's got all that surface rust on it. I'm going to go ahead and clean all that off. Both sides. All of this will be treated. So we won't have any issues with rust in the future. As you, as you can see why they rust, that is bare steel right there from 1967, maybe even 1966, depending on the date this car was made. So now you know why these things rust. Any moisture that gets in here, you saw the other video with the corn, and you know critters were in there. So as I mentioned before with the other parts that rusted, the uh, mouse urine is the worst thing in the world. So this is going to come together good. It's going to go in the car. We'll make another video once we get this mocked up in the car and we get the panel on top of it. 
So stay tuned for more. We'll see you in a bit.